my, 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 my. I am privileged to be joined by one of my good friends, Jalen Brunson's father, uh, Rick Brunson. How long have we been trying to get together, man? It's, it's been man. years since we've been talking about doing this interview. Since like his rookie year. Since he's been here. Yeah. Yeah. Just to make everybody familiar with you and your career. Uh, I played uh, nine years. Nine years in yeah. the NBA. Yeah. And just, Rick, curious to your your thoughts on what your career was like more <laughs> than anything. I mean, because you know, we're, we're friends, so yeah. I know you bounced a little bit, but Take me through what it was like. First, I, I, I don't know if I'm still in, but I know at one point I was the only player in history to play uh, nine straight years on nine non-guaranteed deals. Okay. So, and, and I uh, say that with pride. You know, I feel like, you know, that's what it was for me. And uh, it actually taught me how to grind. It, it, it taught, you know, obviously taught Jalen how to probably work a little bit harder. I had stories to share with him, but yeah, I played for, uh, for a lot of number of teams, but at the end of the year, they actually, how many years you played? Not, not who you played for. But in the moment, it was stressful. As I look back now, wow, it's just like, wow, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. If I could, you know, the first time, obviously, my first time being, second time being cut was in Orlando. I got cut by the Sixers, then I went down to review. And um, it was, uh, you look back and you think like, like it was great, but in a moment when you have your kids or your family yeah. living in, 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 in uh, New Jersey and you're going around playing because you don't know if you're going to, you know, be there. <laughs> I remember uh, my favorite date was, uh, was January 12th. I think, I think that was the cutoff date when they guaranteed your money. Yes. You know what I mean? So, I do know. <laughs> I know all about it. So it was, man, at the time it was stressful. Mm -hmm. I can't even, you know, so a lot of long days. You, when you're trying to make a team, you're not playing as much. You don't know if you're going to be there the next day. But I, I think it, you know, obviously it, it built me into the man I am and, and, and it helped me uh, give some answers to, to my son. When you play in the league, obviously you're in position to share in, share, share different stories like you were just talking about with, with, with Jalen. What, what, what was that like? How did he, how did he receive that? It was great. Obviously, to play in the NBA, you know, you have to be special. I mean, let's just be honest here. 400 and maybe 80 yeah, guys. So yeah, so I didn't like I didn't have a talent. You know what I mean? It wasn't like they gave me something. But I obviously, I wasn't as talented as him. But I didn't understand the business. So, like, I felt like I was better than that guy. Mm -hmm. Why is he playing? I didn't know because he was a first-round pick that he had to play. I didn't know that stuff. Right. I worked harder than him. Why is he playing? He doesn't even come to the gym. You know, so understanding the business over the years, and, and, and taking that and, and giving it to him. And, and it actually, it helped him, you know, obviously through these four years that he's been in Dallas, he's been, you know, in and out the lineup and, and, and me explaining to him the business part of it mm -hmm. and keeping your head and working. There was days where, you know, you know, I don't want to do it no more. <laughs> and, you know, to be honest with you, the last time I was cut, that was it for me. It wasn't like I couldn't play no more. I was like, yo, I'm done. I was mentally drained. I gave it all. Bouncing, just. Yeah, I was done. My Jalen was, I think, turning like nine or 10. It was just, you know, my daughter was four or five years old. I just had enough mentally. Yeah. And uh, it just, it's just like a, you know, like a mental warfare, mm -hmm. for like nine, 10 years. And for me to give it back to him and, and see him, you know, flourish in, 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 in the roles that he's been in, it's exciting, you know, but it was definitely a journey. He actually was on a journey with me because at a young age, he understood. He's seen the grind. Mm -hmm. we, we go on vacations. He, and for me, my time to, to be an NBA player was in the summertime. You have, I'm working three times a day, and I'm not exact, just to get a, a uniform. Right. Forget about playing. Right. I want a uniform. You're the father, and you were actually kind of his coach. Mm -hmm. You you kind of mentored him and, and coached him. Mm -hmm trained him, all of those different things, Rick. Has he surpassed, <laughs> what my question, your expectation? Jalen, for me as a dad, you know, you put him in every sport. Mm -hmm. I'm no different than the next father. Uh, the only difference is I played where he was trying to go. And to get him to understand what it take to get there was a journey. But I would always, I would always ask him, you know, you sure you want this? Mm -hmm. I would teach him how to work and not just work at his game, but also, you know, work mentally. Uh, I would teach him, um, hey, you gotta sacrifice things mm -hmm. in order to achieve what you're trying to achieve. And to answer the question about has he surpassed, nah, because. Um, High expectations. I got, you know, I got more, I just know what he could do. And, and I'm not saying that because he's my son, I just know I've seen the best of him at different levels. And now he's at this level and I haven't seen the best of him. And I, I think it's, you know, as you, it's coming, I, you know, it's, 
four years in a row, just getting better and better every day. His role changes each year, but he, he embraces it. And um, so, yeah, I think it's more to come for him.